Hello guys. Uh, this is Mr. Market Switch. Na kama ambavyo nilaidi kwamba leo tutakuwa na mwendelezo wa episode ya pili kusiana na Market Makers Codes. Na kwa kutimiza hiyo nimeona niandae episode hii ya pili. Lakini pia ni muhimu sana kufahamu kwamba uh, katika episode hii nitakuwa ninajibu uh, zaidi uh, maswali mengi ya watu ambayo yametokana na episode ya kwanza na nitaelezea mambo mengine ya msingi sana ambayo ninawakika yatakuwa ya msaada sana uh, kwenye 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 trading uh, trading zetu guys uh, kuna watu walikuwa wana wana wana, wana hoji kwamba je Uh, ninaweza kufanya ninaweza kufanya analysis uh, katikati ya wiki kwa sababu kwenye episode ya kwanza tulisema kwamba tutakuwa tunazingatia zaidi kufanya analysis weekend uh, ili kutupa picha ya, 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 ya soko litakavyokwenda kwa wiki nzima kwa maana Jumatatu inayofuata ina, ina, uh, wakati soko ikifunguliwa mpaka siku ya Ijumaa kwa hiyo uh, unapokuwa unafanya uh, analysis weekend kwa maana ya ya, ya Jumamosi Jumapili wakati soko limefungwa inakupa fursa ya kutazama soko kwa siku kumi za nyuma lilikuwa linafanya nini na hivyo kuweza kufahamu uh, kufahamu kwa siku kumi zijazo ama kwa wiki inayoanza in, 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 soko litakuwa linafanya ni kwa sababu utakuwa tayari umeidentify zile zones sell zone na buy zone kwa hiyo utakuwa unafa, unafahamu trend ya soko kwa wiki inayofuata uh, kwa mfano tuliangalia uh, trend ya soko kwa pair za GBP tukaona kwamba it was bullish na unaweza kuona kwamba kuanzia Jumatatu, Jumanne, Jumatano uh, soko lilikuwa katika tre, uh, uh, katika 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 trend hiyo ya, ya bullish uh, leo elamisi and uh, from new york session do hasa limeanza kurudi lakini ni kama a kind of retest kwenye confirmation trend line au kwenye zone kabla ya kuja kupanda tena kwa sababu uh, uh, tunategemea pia kwa sababu ya nfp kesho siku ya juma yawezekana tuka 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 tukaona uh, mwendelezo wa trend ile ambayo tuliweza kuiona kwenye ile episode ya kwanza wakati tunafanya analysis uh, last weekend guys so today i want to explain uh, some important issues some important things uh, that are very important in this strategy market makers codes na nataka nipite katika hivi vipengele kwa sababu na uhakika uh, watu wengi vitaenda kuwasaidia na leo nitazungumza nita analysis kwenye time frame uh, time frame to 40 time frame tumekuwa tukitumia zaidi 15 minutes lakini tutaangalia uh, unawezaje kuangalia 1 hour time frame unaweza kuangalia unawezaje kuangalia 4 hours time frame kwa kutumia market makers codes na ni vitu gani tutaviangalia kama confirmation zaidi uh, kwenye maeneo mengine lakini pia tutaangalia tena na tena kuhusiana na beta entry ama ama, ama entry nzuri uh, unapokuwa unatumia market makers codes lakini sio hivyo tu tutaangalia false breakout uh, wakati mwingine unaona kwamba kitu kipo kwenye kwenye kwenye, kwenye zone labda ni buy zone ama sell zone lakini inatokea breakout ya kwenye zone sasa kuna ambazo ni true breakout lakini kuna ambazo ni false breakout na tutaenda kuangalia jinsi gani ya kutambua hizo false breakout kwenye hayo kwenye hayo maeneo lakini pia tutaenda kuangalia jinsi gani ya kutumia ya kutumia market makers codes market makers codes kufanya uh, kufanya scalping unaweza ukatumia market makers codes kufanya scalping na ikawa very successful na ukawa na consistency nzuri sana na ukajikuta hata hautamani kutumia kitu kingine kwenye kwenye scope. Kwa hiyo guys, tutaangalia hizo lakini tutaangalia jinsi gani ya kukombine information zote hizi, kukombine information zote hizi uh, kuweza kupata entry nzuri au na kuweza kuingia sokoni uh, baada ya kupata setup setup nzuri. Guys, kwa mfano, tunaweza tukaangalia this one here is GBP GBP USD. This is GBP USD. Sasa kwa kuangalia kigezo cha kwanza je naweza kufanya analysis hata katikati ya wiki yes it's very possible lakini tutazingatia sana tutazingatia sana zile siku kumi uh, za nyuma kwenye kwenye analysis ya weekend kwa mfano uh, leo ya lamisi manake tutaangalia siku nne nyuma leo ya siku ya kwanza 
uh, Elamisi siku ya kwanza Siku ya uh, jumatano jana uh, Jumane jumatatu Kwa hiyo hichi ambacho kimetokea kwanzia hapa kwenda huku mbele Ni, 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 ni soko la wiki hii Kwa hiyo tutaweka uh, dimakeshini yetu hapa Teka dimakeshini yetu hapa Alafu tutangalia This was Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday and today is Thursday Kwa hiyo hichi cha huku Tunashum kwamba hakipo Kama sasa ndiyo unafanya na lisi si during weekend We assume that this one is not there This one is not there Alafu Alafu tunaangalia siku kumi nyuma Kama mbavyo tuliona kwenye uh, Kwenye episode yetu Episode yetu ya kwanza Kumbuka bado tunatumia 15 minutes time frame Na tunakua tunai condense chat Kama mbavyo uh, uh, tumeangalia kwenye episode ya kwanza So tunaisabu siku kumi nyuma Kutokea sasa uh, Ijuma soko lipofungwa Kumbuka hapa kwa, Hapa unapuona hapa ni ijuma Hapa ni ijuma tatu Kwenda huko ijuma tatu ijuma na kuendelea Hapa ni ijuma Na tunafanya, tulifanya analysis ya hapa weekend Siku ya jumamosi ya jumapili Kwa hapa tunesabu siku kumi nyuma Moja, bili, tatu, nne, tano, sita, saba, nane, tisa, kumi Kwa na hapa tunaweka demarcation Kumbuka kila separation hapa ni siku moja Ndoma tunesabu hizo, hizo siku kumi nyuma Alright guys Kwa tumeka demarcation yetu ba Bada hapo Ndani ya siku kumi Tunangalia the highest point reached by the market within 10 days The highest point reached by the market within 10 days was this one That was the highest point reached by the market uh, within 10 days Tunangalia pia the second highest point reached by the market within 10 days Kiangalia hapa Utaona it's that one The highest point reached by the market within 10 days But uh, here this one follows from that point, we the lowest point reached by the market uh, within 10 days. That's the lowest point reached by the market within 10 days. Now from there, we have the second lowest point reached by the market within 10 days. And that is the one. Kwa baada hapo sasa, hisi ndo zinakuwa, zinakuwa sasa, zinakuwa sasa ndio zone. This is now a sell zone and this is now a buy zone. Uh, Unanza ukaweka zile, ukaweka zile shape ikaonekana vizuri zaidi. Sasa, uh, kumbuka hapa umefanya analysis katikati ya wiki au uh, zaidi ya katikati ya wiki. Kwa mfano leo ni Alhamisi. Jumatano tumefanya leo Alhamisi. Uh, sasa unataka kuangalia soko siku ya kesho lita lita, lita active vipi ama lita behave vipi ama what will happen. Labda unafanya analysis during uh, labda ni Jumatano unaangalia soko litaenda itaenda vipi uh, siku inayofuata. So guys, you can see Kwa mtu wa bagu wafaya na lisi sisiku ya juma Ataona kabisa kwa mba This is supposed to buy eh? Kwa sababu tayari uh, Lime hit kwenye, uh, kwenye, kwenye, kwenye Kwenye buy zone This is a buy zone Ile eneo lotu na liyona Kwanzia huku kunye huku ni buy zone Hii separation na yona kati ya second high na, uh, na, uh, the, the lowest point na second lowest Pamoja na highest point na, uh, uh, na second highest point is in zone Kwa hii ya chini tunaita ni buy zone Hii ya juu tunaita ni sell zone So, in this buy zone Kwa mtu alifanya analysis katika uh, uh, weekend Alifanya analysis weekend Atagundua kabisa kwa mba this was supposed to buy Na mtu wa buy alibuy either hapa or anywhere Una wana, we can see Mtu wa buy alibuy Hapo, tayari From this point From this point aliobai Alitengeneza pipsi uh, Miamoja themanini Pipsi miamoja themanini Sasa Kuna kitu extra ambacho tulikiongeza Wakati tunafanya na lisi zetu Tukasema kwamba Sio tu uh, Utatumia hizi Hizo uh, Kufanya confirmation na kujua target zako Lakini pia ni vema kutumia uh, Kutumia Fibonacci retracement Fibonacci retracement huwa tunaunganisha kati ya peak na trough Ama trough na peak Na Fibonacci retracement and extensions Huwa tunazichora uh, from the previous uh, Kutoka soko lilipokuwa uko mwanzo Kuelekea soko na polekea Kwa mana kwamba tunachora from the previous situation of the market to where the market is heading Weze kuchora kutoka soko lilipo kurudi nyuma Tunachora kutoka soko lilipo, lilipo kuwa huko nyuma Kuelekea kule soko napo Linapofanya kile kitendo kingine Kwa mfano hapa 
tukitaka kuangalia uh, uh, tukitaka kuchora vizuri uh, uh, fibonacci retracement ni vyema kuchora from this point from the highest point reached by the market to the lowest point reached by the market na tumaanisha hapa nini uweze kuchora fibonacci retracement from the lowest point reached by the market to the highest point reached by the market huku nyuma ndio unaweza kuchora from the lowest kwenda highest ambayo ni huko uh, unakuelekea soko lakini sio kutoka lowest kurudi nyuma huku uweze kuchora fibonacci kutoka soko lilipo kuja nyuma huku nyuma itakuwa sio sahihi uchori vizuri hiyo itakuwa ni invest ya kuangalia target ambao nitakuwa ni siku nikiandaa somo la fibonacci retracement and extension nitaeleza kwa undani for so in this case tutachora fibonacci retracement from the peak from the peak kwa sababu ndipo soko lilipoanzia kwenda huku lipoishia lowest na hii inatusaidia kuona kuona zile levels zile main mega levels za soko wakati linaendelea huku kwa mfano tuna hizi major levels 23.6 tuna 38.2 tuna 50 level ambayo ni very powerful tuna 61.8 actually mimi napenda kutumia sana 50 na 61.8 na pamoja na 78.6 ndio maana ukichora tumechora kutoka kwenye peak kuja kwenye trough inatusaidia kutambua hizi hizi sasa hiyo ilikuwa ni extra extra point ambayo ni maona ni ni adi kwenye hizi kwenye ile eneo so guys kwa mtu unayefanya analysis sasa katikati katikati ya week okay umechora hizo kumbuka umeashumko kwa hicho kipo lakini kimsingi kipo kwa mfano leo tunafanya analysis sasa kujua soko liko wapi linafanya nini litaendelea wapi so the most important thing is kwenye forex kujua soko liko wapi kwa nini liko hapo you need you have to know why the market is there why lazima ujue kwa sababu soko hili yanitokea uh, accidentally La, ni, ni, ni mathematically calculated market linatembea kwa mwongozo sahihi na wanajua market makers wanajua why they are doing so lazima nawe ufahamu sasa kwa nini ufanye kila ambacho unakifanya guys are we together kwa sasa hapa ni muhimu sana kufahamu umefanya analysis weekend ndio lakini unaweza kufanya analysis katikati ya wiki yes sasa tumefanya leo sasa hivi ah we see sasa tuangalie tunachokiona tunaona soko lilipanda kutoka kwenye buy zone that is correct likaenda pips 180 kwenda juu and that is good sasa limeenda pips 180 kwenda juu uh, kama tukihesabu pips zaidi ya 180 uh, actually around pips 180 limefika kwenye level 61.8 kwa nini niliongeza hii hii fibonacci retracement ili kufahamu pia hizi major levels kumbuka hii 61.8 ni golden ratio ya fibonacci retracement it's a golden ratio guys sasa kama ni golden ratio expect expect reversal kutokea kwenye ile eneo kama sio 50 basi 61.8 ambazo ni very crucial point very crucial areas za kwenye soko la forex kwa kutumia fibonacci retracement na mimi sishangai kwa nini soko halijaja moja kwa moja mpaka kwenye sell zone lakini limekutana na hii level golden ratio golden ratio level 61.8 likafanya retracement likageuka guys it's because of this level this level is very crucial level in the market na ndio maana tunatumia fibonacci retracement kuweza kutambua hizo kwa okay, combine all this package together unapata hizi hicho kitu kinachoitwa market makers codes lakini sio hivyo tu sio hivyo tu ukiangalia hapo ambapo soko limefanya retracement ama limefanya pullback una ukiangalia kwenye stochastic you can see stochastic ilipanda mpaka hapa juu sawa ah ikashuka kidogo siku ya jana lakini ikaja ikapanda tena ikafika kwenye 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 hii karibu na overbought region ikafika karibu na overbought lakini kumbuka huku ilipofika ilipofika maeneo haya ya, 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 ya karibu na oversold region lakini haijavunja kuja kwenye oversold ipo around kwenye kwenye sold kwenye 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 20 le, kwenye 20 point ambao ni sold uh, tunasema kwamba ikivunja hapa ikija chini inaenda kwenye oversold lakini bado haijao oversold 
which means it was in a waiting room maana ke mtu ambaye alikuwaepo hapa alipofika hapa ilikuwa sio point nzuri ya kuseli hapa ukiona soko liko hapa sio point nzuri ya kuseli it is in a waiting room you have to wait until it is until it is over until it is over until it is over over so ndio unaweza kusema sasa nao i can buy sawa so, sawa so guys lakini pia imebaya imefika kwenye hii region still 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 iko kwenye kwenye waiting iko kwenye waiting region sio nzuri sana kubai kwa kutumia kigezo tu cha stochastic unless otherwise umecombine umekuja kuongeza hichi kigezo kingine cha gold, cha fibonas mtu ambaye aliseli baada ya kuona ndio maana tunasema hatuangalii confirmation moja tu guys atuangalie kitu kimoja tu ukiona kuna 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 kuna, kuna dalili za retracement kwenye gold ratio ya 61.8 lakini pia ime kutengenezea pattern reversal pattern this is a kind of m pattern reversal pattern ya kwanza lakini gold ratio ya pili ukiangalia stochastic imekaribia kwenye 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 point hii ya over overbought lakini haijafika lakini kwa vigezo hivi vile tu vinaweza fika kupa confirmation ya kusel ndio maana hapa umeona imesel imekuja imesel na imesel ukiangalia kuna level 1 ikafanya uh, pullback kidogo kwenye 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 ikafanya pullback kwenye 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 uh, moving average yetu ya, ya ya 15 kumbuka tuna moving average ya 5 na moving average ya 15 ikafanya retracement ikaenda level 2 imefanya uh, pullback kwenye uh, 15 moving average again imekuja imefanya imefanya level 3 imefanya level 3 ambayo pia imetengeneza do you see this a kind of w ndio maana unaona inapanda inawezekana inakuja tena kufanya retracement kwenye 15 fibonacci 15 moving average uh, 15 moving average alafu ije kumaliza ije kumaliza hapa ije kumaliza hapa labda ije moja kwa moja mpaka huku au ije ije kufanya ije kufanya retracement Uh, ije kufanya pullback ije kufanya uh, retest uh, i mean i mean retest kwenye hii kwenye hii confirmation trend line ije kufanya retest kwenye hii confirmation trend line hapa kabla ya kubai kumbuka we are still buying we are still buying na inawezekana this is gbp usd kesho tuna news ya ya, ya non farm payroll inawezekana soko linashuka leo kutengeneza hiyo scenario kabla ya kuja kupanda kwa sababu we expect we expect anything to happen tomorrow nfp last time nfp was 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 but uh, what happened in the market was a myth because uh, the, the number of employment went down to 20k 20k from 180k to one to, to from more than 180k to 20k but usd uh, became very strong in the market that was not expected guys kwamba ilikuwa uh, namba uh, idadi ya watu waliojiriwa ilishuka sana kutoka ajira laki moja na kitu huko mpaka ajira 2000 tu lakini tulitegemea USD iweze kuwa wiki sokoni but what happened ni kitu ambacho uh, katika kuelezea sio rahisi lakini nafikiri kuna vitu vingi ambavyo Marekani wanaweza kufanya na market makers pia wanaweza kufanya kwa kisha kwamba wanaenda against what we see kwenye news kwa hiyo hii news inayokuja uh, inaonyesha kwamba kwenye kwenye expected inaonyesha kwamba ajira zitakuwa nyingi but sio ajabu sio ajabu tukaona i'm not saying this is what is going to happen but sio ajabu tukaona USD inakuwa very weak kwa sababu hata technical setup yetu inatuonyesha kwamba this my, uh, my uh, this GBP USD na other USD pairs my my, uh, my, uh, my uh, might go down kwa mfano GBP USD inaweza kaenda chini Uh, kata ya NFP kushuka ku, 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 kutoka uh, ili kuja kutengeneza kutengeneza mazingira ya kubai inaweza kashuka ikaja kwenye trend line hapa confirmation trend line ama ikashuka kabisa ikaja kwenye zone tena huko chini na kufanya hii stochastic pia kuwa down kabisa uh, na hii kashuka mpaka kwenye zone hapa ikaja ku retest uh, tena hapa kwa ikawa multiple retest then baada nyuzi nyuzi inapotoka sasa ndio ikaja ikafumua kwenda juu. Hichi ndio kitu ambacho kinaweza kina, kina kikatokea kwenye soko. Lakini pia inakuwa ni strategy ya kutrap watu. 
Leo your uh, skin unaikaa ile kwa strong ikawa ni trap ya, ku, ya, ya, ya ni, ni, ni strategy ya kutrap watu ambao wana sell leo waendelee kusell wakiamini hata kesho kwa sababu expected number ya employment itaongezeka waka, wakafikiri kwamba iwezekana USD ikawa strong kwa hiyo itaendelea ku fall down na GBP USD inaweza kuendelea kushuka kwa sababu pia iwezekana watu wanaamini kwamba Brexit it was not good for pound kwa hiyo which means which means a uh, bias wengi wanaweza kuwa trap kwenye hii scenario. Kwa hiyo inasemekana pia ni strategy ama ni binu ya market maker ku trap watu ambao wanaingiza mizigo yao hasa bias ambao wanaingiza mizigo yao kwenye kuseli hapa. But uh, anything may ha- might happen tomorrow. My setup tells me that if I see something like this happening and after the sugar kafia confirmation trend line hapa ika, ika, ika retest kwenye ile eneo I can buy. Au ikishuka zaidi ikaja hapa I can also buy. My stop loss will be below this zone. It will be below this zone. Ah, uh, nitakuwa niko safe zaidi. Lakini for the time being, I'm not going to do anything. I'm not even going to sell this GBPSD for this time around because I, I want to wait until I see what I want to see ili kubai. Guys, it's not safe to sell GBPSD right now. Kwa kutokea hapo mpaka hapa, it's more than enough. Like for the time being, you can see imesha sell sana, imesha sell zaidi ya PPC. Imesha sell zaidi ya PPC 100 120. Kwa hiyo you can see imesha shuka kwa kiwango ambacho kinatakiwa ishuke na for the time being inaweza ika trap some some bulls kwanza, ika trap some bulls wakifikiri kwamba ina imeanza kubai, wakabai lakini ikaja ika hit stop loss zenu za kutosha huku Uh, kwa maana ya kuja kusisa kufanya retest kwenye confirmation trend line ama kuja kufanya retest pia kwenye zone kabisa kabla ya kesho kupanda so guys it's a very important to note hivyo vitu na kwa hiyo kwa mtu ambaye anafanya analysis katikati ya wiki unaweza kuona hivyo unaweza kuona hivyo bado haijafika kwenye sell zone tutegemea yeye ipande ile ufike kwenye sell zone guys it's very important for you guys to note that Naomba muelewe hilo mzingatie hilo kwa sababu bado tunaitazama hii kama bullish setup kama kama bullish kama bullish setup I hope kwenye ile nao umenielewa na unaweza kuona sasa Nizungumze kitu kingine Nizungumze kitu kingine sasa kwenye issue ya kutazama entry Guys naomba nirudie kitu ambacho nikizungumza kwenye 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 uh, kwenye episode ya kwanza Kwenye episode ya kwanza nilikwambia kwamba tunaangalia 15 minutes time frame lakini pia ni vyema kurudi nyuma kwenye 1 minute time frame na fa, hata 5 minutes time frame better go to 5 minutes time frame angalia 5 minutes time frame tumeshagundua labda hii, hii ni, ni bullish setup okay bullish setup unaingia wapi unaingia wapi kufano kuna mtu mwingine ameona ni bullish setup sawa okay it's a bullish setup okay unaingia wapi kwenye 15 minutes na kuonyesha kwamba stochastic iko chini. Kwa hiyo ukiingia hapa sio sio problem. Na unaweza ukaingia hapo sio problem. Lakini kwenye 5 minutes eh kwenye sorry kwenye 5 minutes inakuonyesha stochastic iko juu iko kwenye karibu kwenye overbought region. Ndio kwenye 15 minutes iko kwenye oversold. Lakini kwenye 5 minutes iko kwenye over overbought. Kwa hiyo you have to wait good guys. Kama unataka kubai maana yake uweze kubai kwenye overbought you cannot buy kwenye overbought region you buy at oversold region kwa hiyo sababu ni time frame ndogo wait until it is somewhere down here isubiri ishuke hapa kwa sababu ni time frame ndogo maana yake itashuka kwa haraka itashuka hapa ndio utaingia ili uanze kuingia kwenye kwenye profit badala ya kuanza kuingia kwenye loss kubwa okay rudi pia hata kwenye kwenye nani kwenye kwenye 1 minutes ndio 5 minutes ume confirm go back to to 1 minutes time frame angalia 1 minute time frame pia iko hapa Okay. Mtu ambaye anaenda kubai hapa it's wrong. Kwa sababu iko kwenye overbought. Just wait until it is on oversold. Buy at oversold, angalia 1 minutes, 5 minutes, 15 minutes. So so guys, that's very important. Ingia kwenye entry ambayo ni ni ni, ni yaani ni a better entry ambayo ukiingia hautai kwenye loss mta brief. Form tu ukisubiri ikaingia kwenye ikaa kwenye oversold. So ona inafashuka kwa haraka. Ikaenda kwenye oversold kwenye 5 minutes na nyeye iko laba kwenye kwenye oversold na kwenye 15 minutes tayari unajua kwamba kwenye oversold. Ukiingia hapa you go to profit kwa sababu lazima yende stochastic ina move ina move ina move with the market ina move with the market. Ikiwa chini lazima itapanda juu. Na ndivyo ilivyo. That's the call. 
Ayezi ka kwenye one million cities to cast the equal chain Africa and then yani ikisha ku kwenye offshore it has to go up that is the principle that is the principle of market maker and that is the principle of the criminal in so called forex kwa lazima uunganishe vyote hivi kwa wakati mmoja kwa hapa ukifanya ni kutafuta namna ya kuunganisha kwa pamoja ili uweze kwenda so guys that's very important that's very important if you concentrate on that i believe you are going to make a ton of money in the forex in the forex market now i want to speak about something else i want to speak about uh, about uh, 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 other big time frame if you can do analysis kwenye time frames ingine kwa nimesha kibilo swali kwamba you can also uh, do analysis on other time frame uh, or, uh, or during katikati between uh, uh, within the week unaweza kufanya analysis within the week katikati ya wiki na bado ikawa nzuri na isiwe na tatizo kwako cha msingi sasa cha msingi nilichokuwa namaanisha unaona wakati tunachoya hizi hatukuzingatia atuku consider hizi lows au high za, za soko uh, nje ya zile siku kumi kwa hiyo tulizingatia ile siku kumi ndio zikatoa direction ya huko kwingine hata kama hii ingekuwa imeshuka imechuka mpaka huko chini no tungezingatia ndani ya siku kumi low ni ipi na high ni ipi uweze kwenda ku extend eti kwa sababu uh, nje ya zile siku kumi ambazo ndio zinapaswa kukupa mwongozo kwa siku zinazofuata Uh, eti kwa sababu huku pa extend high ikawa kubwa ama low ikawa kubwa basi zile zone ukazitorea kule no 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 wait until the market is closed utaifanya analysis kwa siku kumi nyingine katika uh, within the weekend so guys tuangalie kwa mfano hapo nimechora hizo nimefanya kila kitu hapo naweza kwenda kwenye one hour time frame naweza nikatumia one hour time frame lakini hakikisha uh, umeanza kwenye 15 minutes time frame kwenye one hour time frame unaangalia nini? Kwenye one hour time frame uh, hasa unaangalia confirmation, angalia confirmation ya vitu vili. Angalia confirmation ya moving average kwamba iko wapi. Lakini pia angalia confirmation ya no no. I mean angalia confirmation ya ya, ya stochastic kwamba iko wapi. Lakini pia angalia confirmation ya moving average. Kwenye moving average tunaangalia crossing Kumbuka kwenye moving average tunaangalia 5 tunatumia 5 moving average pamoja na 15 moving average. 5 moving average ni ile ambayo ina move na soko. 15 moving average ni dynamic support or resistance. Inaweza ika act kama dynamic support or resistance, which means which means any pullback or any pullback or any retracement on 15 minutes time frame inaweza inaweza ikafanya uh, ikasababisha uh, ikasababisha ikasababisha soko kugeuka ama kwenda uh, na, uh, direction nyingine kwa mfano uh, tunaangalia moving average kama nilivyosema kwenye one hour moving average kwa kwa mfano hapo iko kwenye over ipo kwenye over so guys hii one hour moving uh, kwenye one hour uh, hapa hii stochastic ya kwenye one hour hapa do you see iko kwenye over 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 soul hapa na uhakika itapanda kwa sababu uh, uh, tayari imefika pale kwenye ile 23 kwenye fibonacci tulivochora pale i mean here namba nirudi hapa unaweza kunielewa vizuri kiangalia hapa iko kwenye 23 ndio maana ime bounce 23 hii ni level ya fibonacci lakini pia ukiangalia kwenye one hour hapa kwenye one hour kwa nini inapanda hapa sasa hivi kwa sababu iko kwenye over iko kwenye over soul nina uhakika itapanda itakuje ita aitavuka ita sana ile eneo la oversold na uhakika itapanda alafu itarudi tena chini itatengeza kitu kama w hapa alafu ndio itapanda why kwa nini uhakika itatengeza kitu kama w kwa sababu i can see lazima ifike kwenye confirmation trend line ile ambayo tulichora kwenye 15 minutes kufanya retest au ishuke kabisa ishuke kabisa sasa this is, is from my experience this is from my experience na na uhakika wengine mtaanza kutengeneza experience zenu wakati tunaendelea ku train wenyewe kupitia hii strategy kwa sababu I, I, i think this one kuja kufanya retest hapa ni inevitable au hapa chini kabisa ndio maana ndio maana kwa sababu hii one hour ipo kwenye ipo kwenye over over kwa sababu one hour iko tayari kwenye over nini over sold lazima ipande kwa sababu that is the principle hapa itashuka itaenda wapi it has to go up na itashuka kwa nini it, it, kwa nini kwa nini ishuke kwa ajili ya kutengeneza kitu kama hichi do you see this do you see this kwa sababu iko kwenye over over, over sorry 
ita, itapanda kwa ajili ya ya, ya ya kuzingatia na kuheshimu hiyo kanuni kwamba soko lishakuwa kwenye overshoot lazima lipande itakuja hapa juu itafanya kitu itafanya kitu kama w hapa ii w ya pili haiwezekana ika extend below this kwa ajili ya kuja mpaka huku au huku you see guys au ikatokea kendo ya haraka sana ikashuka moja kwa moja mpaka huku ambayo haitafanya hii move sana vikendo vinapokuwa vingi vingi ndio vinafanya hii stochastic move sana kwenda chini ama kwenda juu lakini unapotaki kendo moja haiwezi kuna kwa haraka hivyo kwa sababu mpaka ifunge alafu form nyingine ndio maana nyuzi ikitokea kendo inaweza ka move kwa speed kubwa sana lakini stochastic ukaona haiendi sana kwa sababu ni kendo moja lakini sikio kendo nyingi nyingi ndogo ndogo zinaweza kufanya ile stochastic move sana kwa sababu the more the candles na the more muda unavyokwenda maana yake the more the candles the more the, the more the time go um, ndivyo mbona nakwenda. Kwa hiyo lazima iendelee ku extend, iendelee ku extend. You see guys, I hope tutaendelea kwa kuheshana zaidi kuhusiana na ile huko mbeleni. Kwa hiyo one hour unaangalia iko wapi? Okay, you can see it's it's down there. Maana it has to it has to buy. It has to buy. Kwa hiyo mimi na uhakika hii hii kwenye one hour hii inaweza ikacheza hapa sana, ikacheza hapa sana mpaka kesho kwenye news ya NFP ndio tukachunguka nayo. Sasa ukiona ukiona kwenye news, naomba sasa niongelee kipengele kingine ukiona kwenye news stochastic kwenye wale hawa time frame iko chini kwenye wale hawa time frame iko kwenye oversold au iko kwenye overbought unjue news itaheshimu ile kanuni ya oversold na overbought region oversold na overbought region kwa hiyo sio ajabu kama soko litatukuta tupo kwenye oversold sio ajabu gbp ikabaye sana kwenye gbp usd kutokana na news ya usd You see guys. That's the the principle. That's the principle and that's the rule. And you will see it tomorrow. You will see it tomorrow. It goes somewhere between it that is waiting. It's not safe to take the trade. No man hata news ni jinsi ya kupima news. Angalia soko lime kama ni news ya USD. Angalia soko limepeleka zile pia za USD wapi? Ukiona ukiona so market maker wameleta zile moving average wameleta zile stochastic katikati ujue hapo wataenda wataenda kuna nini wataenda wanataka kumaliza watu kwa hiyo wait until you see stochastic inakwenda wapi kwenye overbought ama kwenye oversold hapo utakuwa free kuingia kwenye hiyo news ndio zile news zile news ambazo zinafanyaga pia 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 yani zina 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 zinavuta watu juu zinavuta watu chini zinawaleta katikati angalia stochastic mara nyingi unakuta ipo ipo katikati nani stochastic ipo katikati kwa hiyo ni rais kupiga huko na huko na huko na kuondoa watu kuondoa watu sokoni. So guys you, you better be, be very careful. Kwa, I want you guys to see the market. Nataka unione soko neck ni. Leo soko liwe uchi ukilitazama unaliona mpaka ndani. Inakuwa rais wewe kuweza kuweza ku trade vizuri na with confidence kwenye soko la forex. Na hapa ndipo ambako utajifunza kitu kinachoitwa passion kwa sababu wakati mwingine mimi naona fursa nyingi sokoni. Yaani kama nitaona trade ambayo inaweza kanipa pips 10 za uhakika naweza kaingia na size ya 5 au kumi Lakini nikiangalia naona kama vile sehemu nyingine haija confirm bado. Kwa hiyo nanipa wasiwasi. Kwa hiyo na, 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 natulia. You see guys, kwa hiyo na kutengeneza discipline flani kwa sababu you can make money any time you wish kwa sababu strategy you, you know now you if you want to make 100 dollar 200 400 4000 1000 USD you can make it kwa sababu strategy is there provided kwa sababu una capital ya kutosha it's there but you have to be patience you have to you have to exercise your discipline na uwe makini sana unapokuwa na trade soko kwa hiyo kwenye hiyo nimeshaonyesha na jinsi ya kutazama news sasa jinsi ya kutazama news kwa kutumia market makers codes guys angalia overbought na oversold kwenye 1 hour lakini pia kwenye 15 minutes 15 minutes mara nyingi ukiona 1 hour uh, ipo kwenye over over overbought oversold hata kwenye 15 minutes utaona ipo kwenye ipo kwenye oversold kwa hiyo zinakuwa zinashabiana kwa hiyo inakupa confirmation nzuri kabisa ya kuweza kwa sababu mtu ambaye aliingia baada ya kuona tarehe kwenye over over oversold akaingia hapa sasa hivi tarehe na pipsi you know how much hapa kuna pipsi za kutosha kuna pipsi 22 kama uliingia na lot size ya ya, ya moja una dola 220 kama uliingia na lot size ya mbili una dola 440 na, na, na kama uliingia na lot size ya ya 4 una dola ngapi 800 na 80 huko do you see kwa 
Kwa hizi pipi shina mbili tu tayari wewe ni milionea umesha tengiza mshahara wa mtu ndani ya mdaufu upi kwa kutumia strategy ya marketing maker scouts Kwa nini kwa sababu umetumia five bonus umeona tayari mefewa mt 3.6 hiyo confirmation ya kwanza Confirmation nyingine kwa mba hiko kwenye level Lazima itabounce hapa kwenye level ya 23.6 Confirmation nyingine ya mboni ni very powerful ni kwa mba tayari ipo kwenye oversold Boom! Unaingia, unatengeneza, unatengeneza pesa pale mara moja na mambo ya nakuwa Hele kwa mazuri guys Alright, so what next? What next is about about false breakout and true breakouts? Now guys, I want to explain this when you pay it a couple of times. This is Frank. But before I explain about that, let me uh, explain a little bit about scalping strategy using market maker scores. Guys, if you are a scalper out there, this is the best. I will teach you the best way to scalp the market like a craze. How is it done? Listen to me now. Now, when you scalp in a tumia to stochastic, well to me to gingine. Okay, unazo katumia, unazo katumia pia uh, the full strategy, command I could do a trend. Okay, guys, Njia mo yako kwanza, scalp in the direction of the trend, kwa kutumia market makers, uh, uh, market makers, market, market makers, market makers, uh, uh, market makers, court strategy. Kwa hini, kufano tumesha kuhindua kwa mba uh, lata hii itaseli ama itabai Kwa hini, chokifanya, unajua kabisa kwa mba itabai So, if you know it's, it's going to buy Na wana mba kusikapo kwa wana watu size kubwa You don't need to worry Umefanya na lisi yako, runa tayari hiko, hiko kwenye, no, hiko kwenye over, over port Hiko kwenye over sold, hiko kwenye over sold kwenye, kwenye 15 minutes time frame Unakuja kwenye 5 minutes, unangale hiko hapa Kwenye 5 minutes, unaona kabisa hiko na enyewe Laba imeshuka tayari ipo kwenye over sold Unangale kwenye 1 minutes time frame Na mara nyingi nita kushauru tumia 1 minutes au 5 minutes uh, Mara nyingi tumia 5 minutes Lakini 1 minutes is the best too Angale kwenye 1 minutes ipo hapi Ipo kwenye over, over, over sold 15 minutes tayari trend unangale kubaya That's the number one point Trend ilu kubaya Alafu kwenye 15 minutes ipo kwenye over sold Manake kwenye buy zone Alafu kwenye 5 minutes ipo kwenye Kwenye 5 minutes ipo kwenye over sold Manake kwenye buy zone Kwa hivyo wani misipo kwenye oversold Manaki kwenye bison Kwa hivyo sutumia wa size ya mia Kina chokunyima nini sutumia wa size ya mia You put it there You make money like grace guys Do you understand what I'm saying? That's what you're supposed to be doing guys So you make money guys You make money, you make money Unatengeneza, unafocus, unatakete Pusizago kumi, unauwa Unauwa focus like Like grace So guys, that's the very important thing to consider now let me explain about false breakout and the and the, and the, and the, and the, and the, and, the, and, the, and the true breakout. Tunda kwenye USD Swiss franc. Open your USD Swiss franc there. Na USD Swiss franc is there, guys. This is USD Swiss franc. This is USD Swiss franc. Na atutatumia four hours time frame kuangalia tutangalia hizo false breakout na tutangalia pia na uh, true breakout tutasiangalia vizuri lakini nitaelezea sana false breakout true breakout tunazijua false breakout ndio ambazo tuzijui sana kwa sababu zinachanganya akili zinatumiza akili hapa so guys okay 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 guys so this is USD USD Swiss franc this is USD Swiss franc this is USD Swiss franc kama kawaida una 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 unaweka hizo mambo zako uh, kama kawaida kumbuka hapa tunafanya analysis si katikati ya wiki lakini tunaangalia soko katikati ya siku kumi tayari hizo tumesha separate siku kumi na hiyo tumeshaweka hizo ni hizi ni in sell zone this is buy zone kwa tunafahamu kwamba iko wapi na inafanya nini and we are sure what is happening in the market so guys uh, ndani ya siku kumi ilikuwa inafanya hicho kitendo na hapa tunaweza tukachora sasa hiyo uh, five bonus kwa kuunganisha this the peak and this is the trough low highest and lowest kwa tunaangalia sasa kwa kuchora zile five bonus retracement station uh, retracement tunaweza tukaona sasa huko kinachofanyika nini uh, tayari Tayari soko limesha funcha, limesha funcha kote huku, limepasua pasua kote huku, limepanda, limepanda kumbuka hii, uh, limetokea huku chini, limepanda, limepanda, uh, linakwenda, linakwenda, limefika hapa 78.60, do mali ambako uh, mara nyingi mimu wana chukulia profit ama 88.60, mara nyingi miyamoja huwa ifiki, kuyo uh, soko hapa lipo saivi, ninaza likapanda tena saidi, uh, mpaka kwenye, se, mpaka kwenye, 
mpaka kwenye hii semi zone ama kwenye 88.6 level naweza likapanda na huku uh, kwenye 15 minutes time frame itakuwa tayari imekuja kwenye over overbought region kumbuka tunaashumu kwamba kesho ya uwezekano USD ikawa wiki kwa hiyo kama ita, ita, itafunga soko litafunga na kesho likachezea kwenye over likacheza cheza kwenye overbought region maana yake tutakuwa na uhakika kwamba ya uwezekano uh, kabla ya news kama itakuwa bado kwenye mazingira haya ikaja kufanya nini ikaja ku sell big times guys so what are we looking at right now uh, tunaangalia sasa kama iko hapa kwenye 15 minutes time frame tuangalie kwenye wani hawa iko wapi kwenye wani hawa tunaona kabisa na yeye iko kwenye over uh, over overbought region ipo kwenye overbought region in USD Swiss franc uh, na kama iko kwenye overbought region kwenye wani hawa tunaangalia kwenye 4 hours iko wapi kwenye 4 hours na yeye tunaona ipo kwenye uh, kwenye 4 hours na yeye tunaona ipo kwenye overbought region so guys tunaona ipo kwenye overbought region kwenye 4 kwenye 1 hour kwenye 15 minutes time frame kwenye 1 hour kwenye 4 hours now what is uh, force breakout force breakout ni pale ambako inatokea tunaangalia stochastic sasa ukiona stochastic guys ipo kwenye yani stochastic ipo kwenye kwenye overbought ya peak yani overbought ile ya peak ya juu kabisa yani yani overbought ile ya mwisho yani iko maeneo ya hapa juu kabisa hapa juu kabisa hapa yani kwenye over yani iko kwenye overbought alafu eti inajifanya eti imevunja huko juu alafu unaona kabisa ipo kwenye labda kwenye uh, unaona kabisa kwamba ipo kwenye nini kwenye resistance labda hii ndio resistance eti inajifanya imevunja huko wakati huko kwenye overbought inajifanya imevunja hiyo hiyo suni itageuka kwa ni ni breakout usifike kwamba itaendelea kubai kwa sababu tayari iko kwenye kwenye forward wow, unaona kabisa ipo kwenye overbought kwa kama iko overbought guys na kwenye wani wako overbought 15 minutes kwenye overbought alafu inajifanya eti imefanya breakout mtu ambaye anaibai hapa ni kichaa utaishia kupigwa hela zako kwa sababu ita, itafika hapo itageuka ndani ya muda mfupi itageuka itaanza itaanza kuseli kwa nini kwa sababu ipo kwenye overbought mangi itaanza kushuka kuja kuseli huku chini ili kuzingatia hii sheria kwa hiyo hapa inaweza kichezea watu kwa watu ambao hawafahamu hii kitu inaweza wakafikiri kwamba ni mtu kwa sababu imevunja resistance inaendelea that is a false breakout kwa hiyo that is how you understand the false breakout guys Hayezi kuendelea itashuka tu kuseli. Kwa hiyo ile ni it's a matter of time itashuka kufanya nini? Itashuka kuseli. So this is another point to consider kwenye kwenye eneo hilo kwenye eneo hilo endapo inatokea kitu kama hicho. So guys, thank you very much. I think you guys have got something out of this. And this is our episode number two Prepare for episode 3, 4, 5 and so on and so forth uh, as we continue uh, Uh, moving together. Thank you very much, guys, and have a